Hey Astera fans, thanks for checking in. This is Greg from Astera LED Sales. Today I'm going to do a quick overview of the soon to be released update of the Astera app version 9 with TalkBack. At a glance, version 9 looks very similar to version 8, but once you dig in, you'll soon see that the changes made will allow for a quicker and easier setup with more control than ever before. So let's check it out. Program settings still live under the three vertically stacked dots in the upper right corner. The tabs remain unchanged. Intensity, Program Adjustments, Programs, Targets, and Connections. Connections is where we'll find the biggest changes. Initially, we'll see this simple screen, the most prominent object being the Astara box with the red X. This shows that we are disconnected. Let's press Connect. You will see that now my Astara box is connected. Notice that some items have been added to the screen. First to the right, we can see that there is now a battery level indicator for the Astera box. Lower down the screen, we see several actions we can apply to all lights. We'll address these in a later video. Let's get right to the big changes. At the top, above the Astera box, it says List Connected Lights. Press it. Below the Astera box icon, we can now see a list of all connected devices. Next to each, some information at a glance. At different times, we might see things like battery level, signal strength, or DMX address. Clicking on each light brings up more detailed settings specific for that light. First, you see an icon representing the light. Beneath it, left and right arrows that allow you to quickly scroll between the connected lights. Clicking on the light name brings up a pop-up where you can change the name to something meaningful. In my case, I chose light 1, light 2, and light 3. Some might find it better to use location-based names like stage left, cake table, etc. To the right, you'll see a light bulb icon. Pressing it turns the light you are making adjustments to white. That way, you'll know that you're making changes to the correct fixture. Next, you'll see the standby button. Its icon is a moon. As the name implies, pressing it will put your lamp either in or out of standby mode. Under the hood, the standby option itself has greatly improved. In the previous version, a fully charged fixture could remain in standby for only three days before the battery completely drained. In version 9, a light in standby will last as long as three weeks. Below the light name, you'll see info specific to the selected light, including current input source, firmware version, the amount of battery cycles, and the signal strength. Further down is a row of icon buttons, including one to show and change input source, another to arm and disarm the burglar alarm, third to display and adjust the minimum runtime setting, and lastly, one to display battery level. Next, reset unpair lights. Clicking this will factory reset your lights. Below we have DMX settings, including address, strobe, table, DMX failure, and AC fail. Each of these settings can be changed by pressing it. Following the DMX setting is PWM frequency or pulse width modulation frequency. Basically, this is anti-flicker. Many LED lights show undesirable flickering when captured on video. Although I haven't experienced this with the sterile lights, if it does present, it can be easily fixed. First, you'll want to ask a cinematographer what frame rate his or her camera is set to. Click the PWM frequency and set the appropriate frame rate. Beneath, you'll have several workable frequencies to choose from. Lastly, you'll see the option to change the master pin. Basically, the master pin is like a personal password for your lights. With it, you'll be able to quickly factory reset your fixtures. If you haven't set your master pin, note that the default is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You'll need this to set your own. This completes my quick overview. Check back for more videos demonstrating how these changes will make your setup quicker, easier, and give you more control over your lights, leading to a better performance. For more helpful videos, please visit asteraledsales.com and see the tutorial videos.